Welcome to a Fallout 4 episode. I'm continuing my series on the new Creation Club content for Fallout 4 with the Quantum Stag. It says, investigate the area west of Outpost Zumonja. And this is one of my settlements. So we'll just head up the hill here. It's about 68 feet away. That's one of my provisioners. Looks like it's going to be down in that little cabin. Heard, there we go. Meyer lurks. What the fuck was that? Okay, so it looks like the information we need is inside this ruined home. These are a bunch of robots from the Mechanist uh, DLC. Whoop, take that robot repair kit. Those things are really rare. Okay. So far, just the rust devils and robots. And there's our clue, the Stag Hunter's Note. Pop Pop used to tell me a lot of hunting stories, but if I had a favorite, it was the one about the quantum stag. The thing about the old man was he loved quantum. He even had a trick for boosting the concentration. The result was a drink so thick and so heavy that it dyed his beard blue. We used to joke that if we ever ran out of a light, Pop Pop's face was better than any lantern. It also made for bad camouflage. So according to him, whenever he went hunting, he'd stop by a small pond and wash the blue out. But that night, the moment he knelt down by the water, the entire surface, surface lit up like a Christmas tree, except it wasn't coming from his beard. Pop Pop says it was twice the size of a normal stag with glowing blue fur and antlers made of gold. Apparently, the beast was so freaking majestic, he forgot to pick up his gun and shoot the damn thing. Instead, he just froze like a goddamn chowder head as the animal licked the quantum off his face. Now, Pop Pop was always two ounces short of a pint, so I never really put much weight into the things he said. Of course, that didn't stop me from telling the same story to my boy. Kids gotta believe in something, why not that? But the kid says he's seen it too. I thought he was taking the piss out of me, but then he showed me the tracks. I don't know if this stag has a blood full of quantum, but it sure looks like it has a ton of meat. I'm going to head down to the water and place the bait. The kid's going to stay up on the roof and take the shot. Hopefully he doesn't miss. The kid doesn't know it yet, but we're out of food. I told him no matter what happens to me, you chase down and kill that beast. Okay, we're going to go and find the hunter's body. Okay, for some reason I have two markers here. Okay. Just a quantum, and let's see. Ah, Concentrated Nuka Quantum Cookbook. I'll have to check that out later. That's something new. And the Lucky Manuel Carbine. Bingo. Crit shots do double damage, and crit meter fills 15% faster. Ooh, I like that. Now we follow the trail of quantum.
Young Hunter's Note Paw. The brush is thick here and the tracks are harder to follow. I've made camp west up the hill. Look for the quantum bottles. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. anything you can't haul my way. I didn't want to shoot the stag, but Pa made me. He probably would have made me kill it too if not for the Mirelurks. They jumped out of the pond and scared the hell out of everyone. I wanted to help Pa fight them off, but he'd made me promise to chase the stag, so that's what I did. The bullet must have grazed it because the stag was bleeding soda. That made it easy to follow the trail to the pond just north of here. I'm guessing that's its regular watering hole, but I'm going to make camp and wait for Pa to catch up with the bait. All we got to do is pour the concentrated quantum into the water and hide for a bit. But I'm having second thoughts again. I get that we're hungry, but I just can't do it. If only I kept an extra bottle, then I could feed the poor thing and send it on its way. Maybe I still can. Just got to figure out the recipe. Pour the concentrated quantum into the pond. Okay, that looks like the irradiated pond in the distance. Oh yeah, let's take some Radex.
And a quick save doesn't hurt either. You never know what's going to pop up behind all those irradiated containers. Or if I have to go to the middle of the pond. So let's just pop some Radex. Okay, pouring the quantum into the pond. Hide in the brush. Okay. And wait for the quantum rad stag. Okay, there it is. Kill the quantum rad stag or feed the rad stag more quantum. Obviously, I missed the second part and the quest is completed. <laughs> I'll see if I can go back to a previous save and see what happens. And for some reason his body disappeared. Other reason. Send the rad stag to a settlement. Failed. Oh, I could have sent it to a settlement. Oh, that would have been cool. I wonder if you could have harvested the quantum off of it. I'm going to try and see if I can find a previous save. So basically, you just got a powered metal chest piece and some rad stag meat. I think it's much more fun to have a uh, pet quantum rad stag at your camp. So I will let you know how that works and see if I can add to the end of this video. And here I am on the second playthrough where I will not kill the quantum rad stag. Unfortunately, I won't be able to keep it because I'm a few quests away from this. And help defend the checkpoint. Of course, that comes up. Easy now, boy. We can Here talk to it. Even though it's completed the quest. Okay. It's having some... Somebody's shooting at it. Uh, concentrated quantum Play removed. So... Yes, you can have the quantum rad stag at a camp. And the Brotherhood of Steel decide it's a good time to try and attack. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. You can do your choice whether to kill the quantum rad stag or keep it for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and see you out in the world.